Hi, I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And, and we are, are the Nomadders. Nomadders. After our turbulent visit to Madrid and the delightful but overlooked Zaragoza, we had one final place to visit on this leg of our motorhome Spain adventure. We were heading into North Spain and the Basque Country, which was absolutely stunning. We even took the toll road to get a wriggle on, as we knew we had to finish up before we ran out of Schengen days in Europe. Our final stop was Bilbao, and River was adamant about going here before we left Spain, as it was his birthday destination choice. I think he just liked the name though. In this video, we visit some of the main sites and landmarks in the city, get completely exhausted walking up the most amount of steps ever, and take in this beautiful and charming city nestled in the mountains. We ended up going wild at one of the coolest locations to visit in Bilbao if you are travelling with children. It is a must stop. We also have a big announcement as our van life in Europe trip comes to an end. We're staying in an air on the Cabeta Bidea area. It's pretty big, it looks pretty secure. Um, it's got some big old gates and a big old barrier, which is always good to see. One thing I will say is the price is not quite as they described, is it? No, not quite. We've been charged 56 euros, I think it was. 58, wasn't it? 58 euros for five of us with electric. And on part for night, it's listed as uh, 21 euros per night. So 42 euros, it should have been, but we've paid an extra 16 euros. Although on their sign outside, it does say 23 euros for pitch and electrics, so obviously the prices have changed. They do love to inflate the prices though. So another thing is that the toilets were locked as well, which is a bit weird. So you're paying quite a lot of money really. I mean, that might be something that ultimately gets unlocked, but when we went to check it out, they were that locked. It was about 10 o'clock, so it wasn't even yeah. like mega early. So yeah, so it's not, not really ideal, especially when you've paid quite a lot of money for it. One thing it has, it's got a 16 amp supply, which all you van lifers will know is kind of gold. like gold. You can get some serious charge. I mean, we were pulling in it's roughly about two and a half to three kilowatts of power, which is great because we charges our batteries up in about an hour it's yeah, you know so hour and a half charged already yeah which is awesome so um but yeah i mean it's not too bad is it it's just uh yeah, it's okay it's functional a I bit think... muddy the weather's been wet though so i guess that would account for it they have got hard the grids underneath it so it's not just on grass but when you're paying quite a lot of money a premium sort of amount for you know a um an air not a campsite an air you sort of do expect some pretty good facilities. Um, so anyway, we'll see. Hopefully when we get back, um, our concerns will be alleviated and it will be incredible. As for normal, we tried to wait for a bus, but we ended up missing it. Story of our lives. So instead, we marched on through to Bilbao from the air, which ended up being about an hour's walk. Yeah, it was, it was roughly an hour. We headed towards the river, separating the old town, and turns out there was a few protests going on and it was extremely busy. We grabbed some long overdue churros that we had promised the kids and demolished them in no time. Next stop was the old town. It's got a really nice vibe here, really busy, lots of families, lots of things going on, lovely buildings, just feels right. Very family orientated, lots of like people in the streets, there's some protests going on. It just feels like a very lively city, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're just heading into the old town now. So let's go have a wander around and check out the streets. Santiago Cathedral is a Roman Catholic church in the city of Bilbao. It was originally built 
in the 14th and 15th centuries, but was only made a cathedral in 1950. The old town was really lovely to walk around. Next, we're heading to a famous square in the heart of Bilbao. We'd sort of got to the point of the day where we'd ticked most of the things off we had planned. Next though, we were heading to the Basilica of Bogona, which was up an obscene amount of steps. Not your favourite bit of the city, was it? No, absolutely not. That was a lot of steps, eh, Ribsy? Yeah, but we went, I went up the ramp. You went up the ramp, um, bit, didn't you? We've got to wait for Mummy now, haven't we? Yeah. She's miles behind, isn't she? She's at the moment down there. Yeah, there's a, not a massive amount to see really here in terms of kind of traditional historical landmarks or old buildings and things. Um, so if you're kind of expecting something where you know you can do a big checklist of stuff it's kind of not that city but it's a really cool city and it's got a really nice sort of like vibe to it and you know it was really busy today lots of families out and lots of people sort of doing bits and bobs of skateboarding all that kind of stuff so it had a really cool feel about it but yeah not kind of as touristy i don't think but yeah it, it, it definitely was a, a very different city than we've been to of Bagona and it was completed in the 17th century and allegedly they saw the apparition of the Virgin Mary. I think we're finished in the city of Bilbao now aren't we? I think we've kind of seen pretty much everything. We've gone around lots of places, lovely. Yeah, beautiful city. A couple of hills. Mm -hmm. Lots of steps. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, love their steps. Of steps. Lots. The only thing we didn't get to see today, which we sort of had, sort of had in mind to do, was the Guggenheim Art Museum. Um, it's got a pretty cool statue outside of it, which would have been cool to see, but it's about half an hour's walk, and it's closed, so we're not going to bother. Um, and there's no point going up there just to see the statue. I think we're all done with Bilbao. We've kind of had our fill with the old city, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, it's someone's birthday tomorrow, uh, a little someone, mm -hmm. and we are gonna go and do something super duper fun tomorrow, which will be a big change of pace. So we're really looking forward to that. Big eight. What are you allowed to do now? You're eight years old. I don't really know. Drink tea. Hmm? Drink tea. Drink tea. Oh yeah. You excited about drinking tea? Yeah. Good. What are you paying for? That's what I'm saying. What are we paying for? Mommy. Last steps of the day. Thankfully, um, there were just a few. Uh, Not a whole hill full.
So we're doing something a bit different today as it's someone's birthday. Whose birthday is it? Rebel's mine. Whose? Mine. Yours. Where are we going? Jump, 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 jump. Yard. We are going to Jump Yard, which is a big trampoline place. Even I... Mummy and Daddy are going to be doing some jumping. My last party was um, a bouncy place with lots of stuff you could go on. It was like a trampoline place, so I think yeah. this is a bit like it, isn't it? Yeah. Are you excited, Mummy? You could go trampolining, climbing, do a ninja course, and even jump to a video game. We loved it! My birthday treat was amazing! What was your best bit? Going on the thing where you run and then jump and then fall into the black thing. So after our mental bouncing for the day, we decided to come for dinner, didn't we? Yeah, to eat up all the carbs. Yeah. Eat um, up all the calories we burn off. And we didn't bother with Spanish food today. We just went straight in for the, uh, all the bad stuff. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to River. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Go on then, buddy. We've come to the end of our first leg of our motorhome journey across Europe. We've explored so much of what Europe has to offer, but feel like we've only just scratched the surface. From tasting French delicacies on the La Rochelle markets, conquering the Pic Panier Glossa in Catalonia and taking the motorhome Spain adventure into the mountains. To checking out amazing graffiti in the streets of Lisbon. We've got so many amazing memories of van life in Europe and the kids have had an incredible time and they're really just starting to get into their adventuring groove. The trip has not been without its lows though, as we have battled constant van troubles and the electrical system leaving us stranded at park-ups. Some of the disasters though were self-inflicted, like when I drove off that concrete platform outside of Cognac. As anyone who has decided to have a go at this van lifestyle will tell you, the highs definitely outweigh the lows. Going to see Carcassonne finally had been a bucket list item for both of us for a long time and standing in the Tabernas Desert where the old Spaghetti Westerns were filmed was a surreal and unforgettable experience. As well as watching Ireland play in the World Cup, even though we did get knocked out ultimately, but was like it was like a holy grail occasion for me. The kids' education has definitely benefited. We have seen them push further ahead with their core curriculum subjects than they would have done in school. In addition to being surrounded by European history, art, geography, the list goes on and absorbing so much more information than in a traditional classroom. It isn't always easy though, getting them to focus when it's school time, but they are always doing something educational. So it is a constant process. We're hoping to do some review and tips videos from our time in the countries we have visited. So if there are any useful van life in Europe hacks that we can pass on, then we will. And as well as pointing you to some of the best places to visit in each country, you're always learning on the road, aren't you? And things change every day. And we definitely have learned a lot on our trip, haven't we? Definitely. One thing we have learned is that we absolutely want to keep going in this lifestyle. 
Now we have finished our first adventure, we are pleased to tell you that our next leg is going to be even more wild as we take Betty to North Africa and explore Morocco. We will be taking the 33 hour long ferry journey from Barcelona to Tangier. And in Morocco, we'll be diving into the vibrant and crazy souks and heading into the magnificent Atlas Mountains and going on the adventure of a lifetime into the Sahara Desert. Hopefully we'll all be hopping on a couple of camels as well. After leaving Morocco, we'll head back to Europe and on towards Hungary and Eastern Europe. Thanks so much for all the support and for checking out our videos. It's been a massive learning curve for us doing these videos and sometimes it's been a real challenge to get them finished whilst on the road. We hope you've enjoyed watching our motorhome Spain adventures and hopefully you will stick around for more antics and dramas on our van life journey. See you soon and safe travels! travels.